Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. You're with Bethany, certified personal trainer. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my weekly routines. Today, we are starting our pre-spring beginners program. And we are starting with the core, which is the foundation of this body. So, we are gonna do a 13 minute core workout, no equipment needed. Grab your mats or get to a soft surface and let's get into this. this 13 minute core workout. Now I'm starting this program off with the core because I do believe it is the foundation for our body. If we have a weak core, we are setting ourselves up for injury amongst many other things. So let's work on building a strong core for better stability, mobility, posture, balance. So we are gonna move through some different exercises, 45 seconds on with 15 second breaks. It's gonna move quickly but we are gonna really engage that core on each exercise, make sure we're really working it, keeping it nice and tight, that belly button pulled into that spine. And when we are laying flat on our back, make sure you don't have an arch, you don't want that gap between your back and the floor. And we will be really working that core today. Okay, so we're gonna start off in a plank, a good traditional plank, so great for the back, which is part of the core muscles. Those core muscles attached to the spine, the pelvic floor, deep in our abdominals. Now keep your tush down, a nice neutral position here. You don't want your tush way up in the air. And make sure to breathe. slowly come down and then we are going to go into some bird dogs so for this one you're going to position your hands under your shoulders and then you're gonna we're gonna extend our left leg out and up our right arm goes out and up and bring it together touch that elbow to your knee nice slow and controlled Keeping that core nice and tight and engaged. This is a great one for your lower back too. Really want to build those lower back muscles up. All those abdominal muscles. Everything attaching to our hips, our spine our pelvic floor. Okay, now we're gonna go to the other side. So same thing. Just a few seconds here, give yourself a little break, get a little breather, and up with the other arm, up with the other leg, and bring it together. Like I said, move nice and slow. So you're working on your balance here. Do your best, and we'll get a little better each time. But make this work for you. So they come down and then we're going to flip over and we're going to go into a leg raise. So we're going to lay flat on our backs. Push your hands under your tush. Extend those legs out. Bring them up and back down, hovering over the floor and back up. Keep that back nice and flat to the floor. You don't want that gap between the floor and your back.
pull that belly button into your spine and make sure to breathe. Don't hold your breath. It's so easy to do on these ab workouts. Nice and slow. Okay, come back down. Okay, and we're gonna go to a side to side crunch. So we're gonna stay on our backs like this. And then we're gonna crunch up to the left and then crunch to the right. Bring your head, your neck, and your upper back all up with you. You don't want to strain your neck. If you can hear that noise, sorry, that's a suction between my back and the yoga mat. Sounds kind of funny. That's okay. We're working out today. We are laughing everyone sitting on the couch. We are moving and let's keep moving. Now we are going to go to our left side here. On our forearm, we're going to a side plank with hip lifts, okay? So extend your legs out, or you can keep your knees bent. Whatever works for you, you can stagger the feet, okay? Arms up, bring those hips up as high as you can, and drop them back down. I like to pretend like a string is pulling on my hip and bringing my body up. It's gonna be a little challenging. Do your best. We're just a work in progress over here. Trying to get a little better every day. We got five seconds left. Really pull those hips up. Okay, now we're gonna go to the other side. So like I said, you can bend your knees, keep your legs extended. We're gonna put our hand up and bring those hips up. Making sure to breathe. that core nice and tight. Lift those hips. We're almost there. Okay, come back down. And we're gonna go to some in and outs. So we're going back to our backs. We're gonna go to our forearms. Extend your legs out. Now bring your knees into your chest and you're going back and forth. I'm keeping my movements very slow here. I'm not rushing through them. I really want to work the muscles. I know the stronger my core is, the better I'm going to perform every day. And that is so important to me. And I want you guys to feel the same way, to be the same way. And you will. All right. Now we're going to go. Oh, to a side to side twist with straight leg. So we're gonna do this from our backs again. Okay, so uh, on forearms actually. Forearms, we're bringing our knees to the left, bringing them over to the right, and then straight out. Dropping them to the left, 
to the right and extend the legs out, hovering over the floor. We just keep those, or keep the core under that tension. Time under tension. Making sure to breathe. Let me just finish this up. And there we go. We are moving through these exercises so quickly. Now we're going to go into a plank saw. So back into our plank form. Okay, hands on the ground. Okay, so now we are going to be moving our core away from our hands and then back up. Okay? So away and back up. Just going back and forth. Just rocking that body. Nice and slow. This is so good for our cores, guys. Our back our abs. Keep that gaze down. Ooh, I'm feeling it. I'm back down to our knees. Now we are going to go back to our backs. Extend your legs out. Spread them out, spread those hands out, arms out. In a couple seconds here, we're starting up, we're gonna to touch our right arm to our left foot, and then opposite. And then just keep going back. Woo, feel those ab muscles working. I am loving it. <laughs> Gonna have my abs done for the day, core done. Check it off my list. Okay. We're gonna go into some reverse crunches now. So lay on your back, get those knees up, hands at your side, and up we go. You're just lifting that tush up, those hips up. You don't want to bring your whole body up. Don't use too much momentum here. Just pull from those hips. Nice little movement here, and wow, can you feel it. All those noises, too. With my body in the mat. Okay, now we are going into some plank dips. We are almost done, guys. We can do this, let's keep it up. All right, get into that plank and dip down to the left and to the right, back and forth. If this is too much for you, just end it in a traditional plank like we started off. If not, let's dip down here. Getting some extra work in. Make sure to breathe. Think about it, this is the last exercise and we are gonna be done with this. We're gonna be so proud of ourselves for making it all the way through. We're almost there. Okay, come down slowly. Oh, woo, that was a good workout in such a short time. 13 minutes. I always feel like I did a really good cardio workout. Oh, that was great. Really put that core to work. I'm telling you guys, add this routine in 
at least two to three times a week. And we are gonna see so many benefits from working the core out like that. How these exercises are super important along with our upper body, lower body, you know, everything else we do, but we can't function properly without this all working right. Okay, like I said, foundation of our body, attaching the upper to the lower. So let's keep it strong. Guys, and we have completed our first workout of the program. Next week, I'm gonna have for you another workout. So stay tuned for that, click that bell, so you don't miss uh, any of my routines and you don't miss out on anything of this pre-spring workout program, which is gonna get us ready for the springtime and summer, and we are gonna be good to go. Remember, if you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button, give this a big thumbs up if you liked it, and remember, it's never too late to be great. Thanks, guys.